Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to reveal and dispel one of the biggest myths about prostate cancer, that high testosterone causes it. In fact, the opposite is true. Low testosterone is the real health risk in prostate cancer. So today you'll discover the real cause and cure for prostate cancer. So if you're a man or you know of a man, which is maybe your brother, son, or husband, over the age of 30, and certainly in your 40s and beyond, please listen carefully. Now, however, before I continue, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now while it's fresh on your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this topic and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so before I start with the facts, first let me tell you how this entire myth first got started. Now, as men age, there's an increase in BPH, which stands for benign prostatic hyperplasia, which starts as age-related or age-associated growth of the prostate gland. Now, this typically causes urination problems and erectile issues. However, there's also hormone-related BPH, which can cause prostate cancer. And there's two simple ways a doctor will test for this. First is checking your PSA levels, which stands for prostatic specific antigen, and it does so in a blood test and or a prostate exam. Now, for decades, scientists have given men with prostate cancer anti-androgen drugs, such as flutamide. Basically, these types of drugs are forms of what I call medical castration. They typically, they pretty much completely turn off your testicles from producing any hormones, which is primarily testosterone for men. And the end result was a regression in prostate cancer and a decrease in BPH using these drugs. Unfortunately, a man is no longer a man with these drugs. You know, having no testosterone causes him to be depressed, have no sex drive, loss of muscle and strength, um, higher belly fat and higher levels of cholesterol and blood pressure and blood sugar and so on and so forth. All problems related to low testosterone. However, if you no longer have cancer, right, I guess these problems are okay and you'll tolerate life taking these drugs. Unfortunately, this thought process was and is completely wrong. You see, if high testosterone was the real cause of prostate problems, then all guys in their teenage years and 20s would have issues because this is the time when a man's testosterone is the highest. Yet, guys have no prostate problems during these years, right? The truth is that as a man ages and his testosterone is dropping is when he starts having the prostate problems. And recent research reveals the cause of this is an imbalance of hormones, which is actually high estrogens resulting in lower testosterone. And this is why taking these horrible anti-androgen drugs worked in the first place. You see, they completely blocked off all your testosterone in the body and thus there was nothing to convert to estrogen. And the end result was yes, less testosterone. And thus the thought process that, hey, testosterone causes prostate problems. However, having no testosterone also means lowered estrogen levels. And that was the real reason these drugs actually worked. In fact, increasing your testosterone levels while also decreasing your estrogens and other negative hormones, such as DHT and prolactin and cortisol, is the real cure for prostate cancer. And that's the real secret. The optimal balance between these hormones. Basically, you want the same ratio and levels of hormones that you did in your 20s when you were the healthiest and you felt the best. Now, for decades, I've been saying this because we have prostate cancer in my family. There's a family history of it. And now there's multiple studies backing everything up. In fact, one study included 18 total studies involving almost 20,000 men. And it showed that increasing testosterone actually helped protect against prostate cancer. So the bottom line is, if you want to live a healthier and longer life, if you want to decrease your risk of prostate problems, and also increase your libido, and you want to actually increase your testosterone levels and decrease your negative hormones, such as female hormones, estrogens, prolactin, and so forth, you also want to decrease your uh, stress hormones, such as cortisol. And if you want to do this naturally, you can visit the link below in the description box and watch a bonus video all about this topic.
Well, that's it for today. You know, I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. And don't forget to click on the link below and watch the bonus video on clinically proven formula that can naturally increase your testosterone levels. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.